should do this tomorrow with the rest of the girls. Yeah. So peaceful, so quiet, so... Ah! <laughs> oh, huh? Rose! Oh, Orange, oh! what's wrong? Some, something touched my foot! An eel! A sea monster! Maybe just a water plant, huh? <gasps> What is it? A little fish. He is kind of cute. Kinda. Aren't those the cutest, fattest, most adorable cheeks you've ever seen? Aw, hey little guy, hey sweetie. Hi there. Don't be scared, are you all by yourself? You're too little to be all alone. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. And, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking him home. But someone's got to take care of him. Poor little guy. All alone in the big world. Come here, little guy. Orange, wait. We Come on, little. What? You can trust me. Yeah, I won't hurt you. Listen for a sec, okay? I'm listening, I'm listening, but <laughs> he's going to get away. <laughs> hey, that I just ask that you consider something. He might be cute and little now, but he's going to grow. And then he might be harder to take care of. You are most <laughs> you are most likely right, Strawberry. But you always say, even though we're bitty, we're capable of big <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to take care of him. <laughs> hey, where is he? Look, you see? He wants to come home with me. I think I'll name you Butch. Butch? He looks like a butch. He looks like trouble, cute as he is. But it's up to you, Orange. Aw, oh, come on, Strawberry. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna take better care of this fish than any fish has ever been taken care of before. I'm going to feed you and read to you every night. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to read you my favorite stories. And they'll give you a beautiful home where you'll be safe and warm. Oh, I mean cool. <laughs> Just wait till you see. You're gonna love it there. What's his name? Stuart. Isn't that the cutest name you ever heard for a fish? Stuart? Where is he, Orange? Oh, look! He's super cute! Hi, Lemon! Hello, Plum! Hi, Raspberry! Hi, Lemon! Oh, what a doll! Where's your fish? You can name him Pish! Or Moosh! Or Swish! His name is Todd. I thought it was Stuart. <laughs> Catchy and cute. And dignified to boot. And look what I taught him to do! Strawberry. I have one with pictures. Oh, I love the ones with pictures. Blueberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. I uh, seen Blueberry. 
I'm right here. Emergency. Todd's sick. I, I need books on fish care, fish diseases, fish cures, fish medicine. Oh, no. What's wrong with him? List the symptoms, please. Well, he has growths. Yeah. Oh, Todd, I'm so sorry. Where did I go wrong? I've tried to give him everything a fish needs. I know you have. Everything a fish could want. I know you did. Everything a fish... He's not a fish. <gasps> He's a tadpole. A, a tadpole? What's that? A baby. Frog. <gasps> Todd is a fish! He's a frog. Todd's a frog? Well, he will be. Soon. He'll grow arms and legs and lose his tail. This process is called metamorphosis. So, um... So, at least he's not sick. But it might be best to take him back to the stream, huh? What? I, I can't do that. I, I promised to take care of him. But that's when you thought he was a fish. It's just that, well, isn't a frog more than you bargained for? I am not going to turn my back on him just because he switched species. He, Dad, can't help it if he's a frog. Okay, ready and lift. <laughs> there, that's the front panel. Front panel of what, Raspberry? Oh, I didn't show you. You didn't see? Well, here, come here, come over here. <laughs> this is great. I know, I know, you don't have the words. Um, fabulous, maybe? Inspired, tremendous, cutting edge. <laughs> see, um, Orange appointed me fashion designer. I'm designing all the outfits for her and Tad. See, next week, she'll ride him in a dressage and jumping show with both of them sporting Raspberry's Frog Forward Fashions. <laughs> Orange says it'll be great publicity. You know, I'll probably, most likely, well, hopefully, well, maybe, you know, have, a, have my own pet apparel line in stores by next fall. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't tie the bowl of you. Huh? Behave. Oh, no, we do not drink the shampoo. Oh, now, please. <gasps> Quick, close the door. we will get loose. Orange thinks I'll do great business if I branch out into pet grooming. Huh? And now, some cologne. He's kind of stinky. All right, wait a minute. Ah! Oh no! Catch him! Dad? I'm sorry, Orange. He looked perfectly adorable. Then something scared him. Maybe he doesn't like Berrylicious Lavender. Maybe the bow's too girly for him. Maybe he doesn't like the color. Or maybe frogs don't wear bows. Huh? Orange, it's just that... I don't think frogs are supposed to be washed or dressed up. Maybe it would be best to let him go in the wild. Out there? All alone? Oh, no, 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 no. He, he's much better off with me. Um, come on, Dad. Uh, thanks, Lemon. Uh, I'll bring him back tomorrow, okay? I'll have a talk with him. He'll be better behaved. Uh, I promise. Can't wait. What is that? I promise, it's not my stomach. We believe you. I have a feeling I know just what it might be. Oh no, Tad doing his night croaking. How can we do our night sleeping? Maybe the croaking is just a stage, and he'll grow out of it. That'll probably be the only thing he doesn't grow out of. Where's Orange? She turned in early. She was tired from chasing Tad around. Come on, girls. Let's think of a way to get him to go to sleep. Uh, 
hot milk. No, not that. Uh, a blanket. No, never mind. Hmm. Oh, a, a lullaby? Uh, no. Wait, what was that? Uh, a lullaby? Sing a lullaby to a frog. I like it. Good idea. Yeah. Close your eyes, little frog. Time to please stop your croaking. Pleasant dreams, little frog. Won't you finally go to sleep? Huh? Who? What? Is he? Five minutes? It's been more like five hours. I wonder where she could be. Ugh, I need to get some light bulbs for my reading lamps. Still closed, huh? She was closed yesterday, too. I want to paint this beautiful tulip in the meadow, but I'm out of brushes. Well, I guess I'll just have to make a sculpture of the tulip instead. I wish you could sculpt me a light bulb. <laughs> hurt himself having to hop too much. Orange! What are you doing? Building a swimming pool for Tad. Isn't it great? Orange, um, promise to let me use it to teach water ballet classes if I help dig. <gasps> <laughs> well, I gotta admit, Orange, you're sure giving him the best. Everything he needs. <laughs> Mrs. Drewberry came home and discovered the kittens had unraveled her yarn. Oh, excuse me. Strawberry's Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, my. Yes, right away, Princess Berrykin. I just turned around and see what I found? Our berry juice ruined! I'm very sorry, Princess. I'll talk to Orange. Thank you, Strawberry. And a graceful lift with the left arm. Uh, please, everyone. This is water ballet, not wood chopping. <laughs> <laughs> and now, everyone, with grace and style, I'd like you to <gasps> look out! Yeah, I think. Uh-huh. Oh, Strawberry. Orange promised to let me use this pool, but every class gets interrupted by Tad. I'll talk to her. I promise. Oh, Strawberry. It's the very worst. I mean, I can't tell you. It's... it's... What is it, Raspberry? What's happened? I'm upset. I can see that you are. What upset you? It's all my work. My sewing and stitching and your frog forward fashions. Let me guess. Tad didn't like them. No! He loved them so much, he ate them. My goodness. And all Orange said was, he's just a frog. He didn't know what he was doing. That doesn't sound like the orange we know. No, it sounds like the orange who's got a pet that's become more important to her than, than manners. I'll talk to her. Strawberry! Orange, what's the matter? It's Tad! He's, he's gone! Oh. 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 
Now don't worry. Everyone's out looking. I'm sure the Berrykins will find him any minute now. He couldn't have gone very far. I did everything I could for him. I kept him cool when he was hot, warm when he was cold, bathed him, sheltered him, rented. No frog has ever been so loved, and, and, and now he ran away. Huh? <laughs> I found your pet. <gasps> Look, up there! There, there he is! Yeah. Dad! What are you doing up there? You come down here this instant. <laughs> now he's asleep. <laughs> I'll wake him up. Um. That's such a good idea. Hello! Wake up, Froggy! <laughs> oh, gee. so kind and considerate to Tad that you've forgotten about everyone else. But you guys are my friends. My very best friends. I could never forget you. What I mean is, Tad has caused a bit of trouble and... But he doesn't know any better. Exactly. I think being responsible for a pet means taking responsibility for any trouble he causes. Because the pet really doesn't know any better. I know. I need to do a better job of being responsible for Tad. I'm doing everything I can think of. I, I don't know what else to do. Well, maybe the best way to care for Tad is to not care for Tad. What do you mean? Orange, I just don't know if Tad belongs here. Oh, Strawberry, please give him, I mean me, another chance. I promise he'll never be any trouble to anyone in Berry Beauty City again. But how? You'll see. I'll I'll train him. You said even though we're bitty, we're capable of big things. And I know I can do this. I won't turn my back on my responsibility to Tad. Well... I've never seen it so neat and tidy in here before. I wanted to do something nice to make it up to you for Tad eating the fashions. Thank you, Orange. Really? It's all mine? I promise Tad will never bother your classes again. Thank you, Orange. I'm hoping the Berrykins will accept some frog rides to make up for all the trouble we caused. Oh, well... <laughs> Not having much fun, huh, big guy? Yeah. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Orange. I came to tell you everyone is so pleased about how you apologized for Tad's troubles. <laughs> Everything is back to normal in Berry Bitty City. Oh, that's good. I know it's been difficult, but I know if it meant doing the right thing for Tad, you could do something even more difficult. Of course, I'd do anything for Tad. What is it? 
that's more difficult than all the things I've done so far. I mean, those were big things. What's bigger than that? Letting him go. Oh, Strawberry. Sometimes the very biggest things we have to do are the things we can't even see. There it is. Do you think he's going to think I don't love him? Oh, I'm worried he'll never get over it. Oh, Tad, I know this is difficult. Try to be strong. <laughs> say goodbye. But did you see how happy he was? Yeah, you're right. He wasn't just happy. He was the happiest I've ever seen him. Oh, and that makes me happy too. How about a picnic? I think that is a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> You just warm up some apple cider with a little orange rind. Mmm, orange. My favorite. A tiny smidgen of lemon juice. Mmm, <laughs> my favorite. A bit of cinnamon and my secret ingredient. What's that? Warm wishes. I imagine my friends enjoying it, and somehow it just comes out better. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe if we drink enough, it will really feel like winter. Well, it's certainly cold enough, but some snow would be nice. I want snow so badly, I sometimes think I can hear it coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing! Yeah! Yeah! And best of all, the Glimmerberry Ball. Oh, I can't wait to start decorating for it. The food table will go here, and the streamers across there, and we'll put chairs along that wall. Plum, I'm starting to think we won't be able to hold the Glimmerberry Ball in the cafe this year. Why not? Hot cider coming right up. Excuse me, coming through. Because Berry Bitty City isn't so bitty anymore. That's right. The town has grown since last winter. There just won't be room. If not here, then where? I've got it. We'll split up and hunt for a bigger place. We'll all look hither and yon. Hither and yon? Here and there. Ah, great. An adventure in the snow. Oh, good idea. Fun. for the ball? No. Oh, me neither. Oh, uh, well, I found a nice flat tree stump. There's lots of room, but no shelter from the cold. Oh, we might freeze or catch colds or even just uh, shiver a lot. Well, we're definitely not giving up. After you get warm, we'll go looking again. I'll come with you. You guys, I found the perfect place. Come on. So, what do you think? It's perfect for the ball, right? Uh, I don't know, Plum. If someone fell off those branches, they'd hurt themselves. 
And where would we put the tables? <laughs> no, no. Down here. Oh, warm, spacious, and inviting. I call it perfect. Congratulations, Plum. Good for you. Good job. I did it. Yay for Plum. I knew you would. Plum, since you did such a wonderful job of finding the perfect spot, would you mind being in charge of the party preparations? Oh, I'd love to. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll bring the dishes, cups, napkins, and tablecloths. Uh, Strawberry, can you take care of the party snacks? <laughs> of course. Okay, raspberry and orange. Would you help decorate? Fun. <laughs> Ooh, yay. What do you think of crepe paper streamers draped tastefully across the ceiling? Draped crepe? You got it. Blueberry, lemon. Can you please round up as many glow bugs as you can to light the hall? Of course. We're on it. Raspberry and I will get started, too. And I definitely better get started if we want to put this all together in two days. Thank you, everybody. <sighs> I'm going to make this the best Glimmerberry Ball Berry Bitty City has ever had. Which means I have time tomorrow to sew up some fancy tablecloths. Mm -hmm. And I have time to pick out some great music. <laughs> <laughs> the ball is going to be so much fun. True, but there's still plenty of work to do tomorrow. Let's get some rest, and I'll see you here bright and early. <gasps> what in the world happened? The snacks are all gone. And the glow bugs flew away. Oh, and our streamers and tablecloths are all torn up. If this is a prank, it's not funny. Who could have done such a thing? I don't know, but this is really cozy. Oh, I could take a nap in here. This is no time for a nap. We have to start over. All that work we did. It'll be okay, Plum. We still have a whole day to put everything back in order. Sure. And I'll go round up some more glow bugs. What I want to know is who would do something so... so... mean. Well, nobody in Berry Bitty City. Exactly. So it must be an outsider. And I'm going to find out who. They will answer to the Wrath of Plum. <laughs> Cupcake? Oh, no, you don't like cranberries. Cupcake? <laughs> Watch out! Oh, how can I make cranberry cookies with you in the way? I told you I have a bunch of baking to do. <laughs> oh, come on, you silly puppy. We'll have playtime another time. Huh? Strawberry's Cafe, hoping you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, hi, Plum. What? Uh-huh. You're all going to stay in the tree tonight? It's the only way to make sure nobody messes up the party stuff again. It sounds like a fun sleepover. Maybe I can join you later. I just have to make one more batch of snacks. Oh, hold on. Puffcake, go fetch. Bring me that oven mitt, okay, boy? It's the cranberry cookies, Blueberry's winter favorite. Oh, it makes me so happy imagining how much she'll enjoy them. <laughs> Pupcake! Pupcake, no! I'm not going to be able to join you after all. Why? Let's just say it was something out of my control. Good luck and have fun. See you in the morning. Bye. Goodness, what's gotten into you, silly puppy? 
What? Oh, you think the cranberry is your bowl. No wonder. You thought I was going to cook your favorite bowl. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't understand. Come on, let's look for your ball. Now maybe you'll let me finish my cranberry cookies. Oh, and everything else. Do you think we'll catch whoever it is? Oh, they'll be back all right. And I'm ready for them. Hey! That's really bright, you know. Oh, sorry. I just want to be ready when the intruders show up. Too bright. Oh, right. How much longer do you think we'll have to wait? This floor is really hard. Yeah, not exactly a feather bed. Hey, I know. How about we bring that big pile of shredded crepe paper back in here? Oh, it was a really cozy bed. Good idea. Uh, I don't know, girls. We're trying to keep the place nice and neat. Don't worry, Plum. We'll just sweep it out again in the morning. Oh, say, this is cozy. Uh, really comfortable. But we have to stay alert. No problemo. Oh, no. We'll stay alert for you. Honestly, Plum, I don't think these troublemakers are coming back. <gasps> what was that? The wind? A falling acorn? Uh, a really big snowflake? <gasps> Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> uh, it's just a couple of cute chipmunks. Cute on the outside, but meddling on the inside. I will not allow these intruders to ruin our ball. Hey, get out of here! <laughs> You better scram! This is our place! Yay! We did it! <sighs> now can we go home? Yes, but first a little precaution. <laughs> there! That ought to keep those pranksters out. Now we can trade that trash pile for some real beds. Tomorrow is a big day! The Glimmerberry Ball! I'm so super excited to see everyone in their beautiful new ball gowns. They are splendid spectacular. And I've got all new steps planned out for the dance. And let's hear it for the terrific food we're going to eat tonight! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And let's hear it for Plum for organizing all the preparations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm just happy that everyone in town will have a delightful Glimmerberry Ball tonight. Yes, the hall looks fabulous. You've got to see it, Strawberry. Oh, I can't wait. I'll meet you down there when I'm done packing. Okay, see you soon. <gasps> oh, no. Not again. <laughs> Somebody's been nibbling our snacks. Somebody chased away our glow bugs. And somebody's been sleeping in our streamers. <gasps> and they're still here. Yeah. Yeah. So, trying to wreck our party, huh? Wake up! Wake up, you meddling pranksters! Get out of here! <laughs> Now, we better clean this up, quick. We're running out of time. What's that? I don't know. Sounds like it's coming our way. Oh, let's get out of here. Come on. Treated so 
so abominably. Come on, girls. It's time they were taught a lesson. And the teacher is going to be me. with plum pudding. Let's see them try to get back into our Glimmerberry Ballroom now. have kept wrecking our decorations. And now they've stolen our ball gowns, just to spite us. Chipmunks? Oh, that's very strange. They're usually timid little guys. There must be some reason they turned into troublemakers. Oh, they did this? Have you ever heard of anything so mean? Shredding our decorations. We found them sleeping in these scraps. They aren't the only ones. Raspberry kind of likes sleeping in them, too. <laughs> well, they are pretty cozy. Yes, they are. Oh, that's the answer. What's the answer, Strawberry? The chipmunks aren't the intruders. We are. Us? Uh-huh. They chose this place to have somewhere warm to sleep during the winter. And they probably found it before Plum did. But why do they have to take it out on our Glimmerberry Ball? Hmm. Yesterday, I couldn't understand why Pupcake kept barking at me when I was making the cranberry relish. But when I finally stopped to see his point of view, I realized he thought a cranberry was his red ball, and he thought I wanted to play fetch. So? So? Look at this tree from the chipmunk's point of view. What looks like stealing food is actually their way of staying fed during their winter sleep. So what looks like a pile of scraps to us is really a bed to them? That's right, Raspberry. So all this time, we've been kicking them out of their home? I'm afraid so, Plum. <sighs> now I feel terrible. <sighs> Come on, girls. We better take all our stuff back home. But then where will we hold our Glimmerberry Ball? I think I may have an idea. What if we just ask the guys if we can stay in Hey, little guys. Can we talk to you for a minute? That's it. We won't hurt you. I'm really sorry we tried to take over your winter home. We'd like to change our Glimmerberry Ball into a hibernation ball. Would that be okay with you? Everyone will bring donations to our dance tonight, and you'll have plenty of food for the long winter. Where are they going now? Forget the rest. 
enjoyed helping out the chipmunks a lot more than just throwing our usual glimmerberry ball. Me too. It made it much more special. It's like strawberry secret cider ingredient. Warm wishes? Yes. The party was special because I kept imagining how much the chipmunks are going to enjoy their nice home and all the snacks for their hibernation. So do you think they enjoyed the party? Says it all.